Slay Squad, what is going on? Back again, it's your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for Yeah Head Top. What is going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day today. It is Saturday. I don't know about y'all, but here in Atlanta, it's, it's getting cold, bro. I'm kind of getting nervous. Now, I love hoodie season, I love having layers, but it's kind of spooky when it start getting cold this early. So, I don't know, bro. It just got me worried a little bit. Today, I'm coming at you guys with a video on an early release photo. Now, all my Yeezy lovers out there, all of my Yeezy Kanye his adidas lovers out there y'all probably gonna like this one i wanted to talk about it i seen this recently on twitter do shout out to yeezy mafia because if y'all don't know yeezy mafia follow them on twitter for all of like the yeezy updates and stuff like that they give you all of the upcoming releases they even give you sneak peeks on what's coming out and sometimes they even talk about like how much stock is going to be in each release so it's kind of helpful if you really like yeezy although i can't say they're pretty accurate sometimes though i ain't gonna hold you they'd be a little off you know what i'm saying i remember one time kim kardashian was tweeting like hey look they don't work for us so you know talk to me nice still in all though they're very very accurate and while i was watching the game last night shout out to the lakers by the way bro the lakers in four bro i'm gonna go ahead and call it i would say i said six when the series first started because i really thought that he had a chance and i still do think they could probably get a win lakers in four bro lakers in four comment down below we, we ain't on that right now yeezy mafia tweeted out a picture of the yeezy 700 so yeezy mafia tweeted out a picture of an upcoming release of a yeezy 700 that's supposed to be released in 2021 now for my people who are not really familiar with the yeezy 700 it is one one of my favorite if not my favorite silhouettes out of all the yeezys today i do have the very popular if not most popular yeezy 700 release which is the wave runners this is like that basic shoe that i think just about everybody has nowadays i also have the second colorway in the mauve or the moav however you want to pronounce it this is another more popular release so i do have two of the more popular yeezy 700 releases on me and to kanye's credit i'm not gonna lie he has remixed the 700 and even gave us even more even better 700 releases like the 700 v2 here i have the 700 v2 Salt, which is really one of my favorite sneakers to wear. I think I wore these like every day for like a month straight at some point in time. I need to hit this with some rejuvenator. And last but not least, on a more recent release, here go the Yeezy 700 V3 Azurus, which is like I said, a more recent release, but these are all spawning from the Yeezy 700. So the footage of the Yeezy 700 that was released is this photo here, which is the Yeezy 700 Sun. Now, as y'all can see, this is more, it looks more like the original 700, right? And I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I'm gonna be completely honest. Let me fix my chair. Let me look into the camera real quick. These shoes is ass. They are, they are. They're ass, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it at all. It looks like a Dragon Ball Z Yeezy 700. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is I posted this on Twitter. And I even threw it on my IG story, okay? So if y'all don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, both of those are linked down below. When I posted these on Instagram, and when I posted these on Twitter, I said, I quote, Kanye, I don't know about these. And a lot of y'all was like, bro, what? These are fire. I have no idea how y'all like these. I really, really don't. This shoe is very ugly to me. I'm not gonna, and you know what? A lot of times people say stuff like this, like the Union Jordan 4s, and then when the shoe come out, we don't keep the same energy. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been on this channel multiple times and I said the shoe was trash and I've seen it in person and I've changed my mind. But when I say, bruh, I cannot be more positive in my life, I guarantee you, absolutely guarantee, I'm not buying these. If they do release, but they're supposed to release 2021, so we got some time, but if they do drop, I will never put my foot in these, bro. These, these are that. Now, to Kanye's credit, I do appreciate him switching up the colorways, switching up the different styles. We used to get so many 350s, man. It was starting to get to the point where I was 350'd out, bro. And even still to this day, like the 350 Carbons came out, which was like this week's release. And I wasn't even interested in picking those up because I'm just so, I'm too 350'd out, bro. I'm not, a, like, I'm not really big on these unless they do something crazy, which I can't ignore. But at this point, it's just like, I don't need any more. And I've never really liked the 750, so I'm actually happy he stopped making those. And even though fall and winter is coming, he might go back to the 950s. I will probably get that a shot before I get a 750 a shot. I think the 950s might be done too because Kanye is working on like the newer Yeezy boot that you guys probably already own or probably already seen people wear before. But back to the topic at hand, we have these Yeezy 700 Suns that like I said will be available if they release in 2021. And I kind of wanted to get a conversational video with y'all because I mean, I was surprised to see that many people actually rock with these so I decided to make a video talking about it to see how many of y'all actually rocking with these. Now I told y'all I feel. I'm gonna bring up some pictures on here just to talk about what I really didn't like because it could be a lot. Now as y'all see on the uppers, it's like completed with like this, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a saturated yellow, almost like a dark yellow, like a mustard yellow. And then even like the mustard yellow has like a lighter coating the yellow up underneath it, which would be like on that mesh part of the shoe. I'm not rocking with that. And then the crazy part is on the toe box, we got the same green that I think is on 
Yeah, it looked like the same green that's on the Wave Runner. So this green right here that's on the Wave Runner on the tote box right there, right? Y'all see that? That green, it looks like that's the exact same green or maybe a little bit darker that's gonna be on the Yeezy Sun. I ain't gonna cap, Kanye really does have a way of getting shoes in person. The colorway might look different from what you see on the picture. So we don't really have to get into that too much, but it has nothing to do with the entire shoe. Like that green, look at the green on the shoe, bro. That has nothing to do with anything. And like a lot of times, like if you look with this, these laces have nothing to do with the upper, the outer sole, even the orange on the midsole. Like these lime green laces doesn't have anything to do with anything, but somehow really it works. That's not the case with these for me. You know, actually, if you really look at this shoe, nothing goes with anything. You got gray, you got that chalkboard green, you got some blue tints here, you got orange on the midsole. Nothing really flies, but it still looks good if you get what I'm saying. Maybe they try to do the same thing here, but once again, in my opinion, it does not look good at all. Even if you look at the toe box a little bit further down, you get like the same mustard green that's on the upper. But once we get to like that midsole, we get like this orange, almost like an orange sherbet type look on the midsole. And then you put orange, the same orange on the wave runner on top of the sherbet orange that's already on the midsole. Oh my God. I don't get it, bro. I, I, I don't get it. How can y'all like these? I, I, I really want to know. I guarantee you that the laces aren't white. I know they look white from these pictures, but Kanye, these will be like a teal or these will be like a off, like a blue tinnish blue and not really the white that we thinking because these will look like white laces, but they're not going to be white. I know Kanye. He's not going to, bro, he's not going to do no white laces. It's Kanye we talking about. And then last but not least, we get the little two, three M's on the side panel of the shoe. I mean, that's the only thing that looks remotely cool to me. Other than that, man, we got another Yeezy 700. I'm happy it's back though, cause we have not got like a Yeezy 700 colorway in a while. So don't get me wrong, I'm excited to see something in the works, but just not this. And even though this nigga is set to release 2021, it doesn't mean technically it will be the more, or how can I say, it doesn't mean that it will be the next release 700. It can be that we just got these photos first. This too can come out June, you know what I'm saying? And we have a better looking 700 that comes out earlier. You know, we never know but it's still coming out and it's still pretty trash i mean that's pretty much my take on it i would love to hear you guys uh talk about it down below in the comments of course i'm gonna be watching over this if you want to vote on either poll on my instagram poll or on my twitter poll because i put those sneakers up on my story and i asked y'all what's the deal with these Feel free to follow me on instagram and twitter those are both linked down below and man i appreciate y'all for tuning in to another video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new guys the goal is still 100k by the end of the year and until next time it is your boy sniper jones you know i cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but who really putting in that work though snipe squad i love y'all dream big